Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for kickoffs and kick ons. <laughs> Well, <clears throat> that is officially half time of the superb rugby season. That's right, we are halfway through, and I don't think I'm going off half cocked when I say it has been the most superb half of a superb rugby season ever. Um, so, in half a room full of half mongrels, we deliver you to you today our halfway wallabies. Oh, oh straight a little into it. stuff oh, up. Close. Wow. There was a little was stuff close. up. Straight into it. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, the we're show? teasing it. Oh no, we we're teasing. So later on, because we're halfway. Yeah. Who's hosting here? No, no, a no, it's, it's a good question. Yeah, it was an uh, aggressive w- question. The boys, three experts, uh, who Joe Schmidt has given his power to, <laughs> will be picking their halfway wallabies who's performed the best during the superb rugby. Are you doing people outside of the superb rugby, guys? Well, I, um, yeah, if they're going to be uh, eligible. Okay. I heard something the other day that maybe they're going to scrap it entirely. Well, it's on, on the table. The Guido Law? Yeah. Oh, the hang Mitchell. on, I forgot to introduce you. It's sure. here. Intro the lads. <laughs> Let me bring in the lads. A man who, when you get to know him, is not half bad. He is a glass and a half of handsomeness. A man who last week put half of Hong Kong, Hong Kong in a drunken half Nelson. It's Adam Asher Cooper. Sweet yeah, 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 Adam. I'd ding, say ding, it's ding. probably more than Hong Kong. Half of Hong Kong. It's great to be here. Great to be alive, prof. <laughs> <laughs> Touch and go for a while there. And of course, Swoop's better half. A man who has half a mind to tell you his half-baked ideas while being half-naked. It's Drew Mitchell. Hey. Live a ding, ding, ding. And finally, a man, San Diego's current half, who is halfway packed to heading halfway around the world. It's Matt Gitto. Hey, good Gitsy to have you. Yeah, is this really the last nice. time we're going to have you in, in studio? Last time in studio. No, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. It's sad it's for me too, It's time to so say goodbye. Not yet. Sing that later. I was just singing because Hugo, he's um, one of the great singers. He is. Did he do any late miss for you while we were away? Oh, God. It was about 6am on the way home from one chai. Pumping out the vocals. Hey, Guita. Yeah. So, how many games left over in the MLR? Uh, there'll be, when I get there, two before the bye, and then the rest of the, the back end could be six games in the finals. Ooh. Ready? No choice, son. Is that a bit earlier than you thought? Yeah, yeah, it went a little early. I, I tend to do that. A bit of pre come there? Um, yeah, they. Uh, it was Distress good. I enjoyed it over it, there. Did a flare go up? Get Goitan over? You guys are doing all right, though, aren't Yeah, they're you? doing really well. Yeah, I think it's just uh, this timing worked where I had no more commitments except for yeah. yeah. I don't worry about this us. glorious <laughs> podcast. Well, I knew you'd survive. Yeah. You've now got Swoop. Swoop, Swoop. Swoop even asked me a question then. Yeah. Like he's a new man. Now, I, early murmurings, <laughs> gents, early murmurings of us making it over to San Diego. Really? For our show. I probably shouldn't tell you that. You've just recovered from Hong Kong. <laughs> um, but yeah. early, early talks to get the pod over to San Diego. Wouldn't that be good? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, Overs- no, it'd be all right. Another overseas tweet. trip on the radar doesn't sit well with can me. Can you get into America? Or my wife. Hey, can you get into America? <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, definitely. Oh, actually, you know California of, well. Sort of, we still got visas. Mm. I'll get there, there for the next two years. Drew. Less paperwork, Ollie. That's brilliant. Um, how have you been since Hong Kong? Talk to me about the demons. Oh, there were a few. Uh, it was an emotional week. Um, fair to say it wasn't all that productive. Um, it's still not that productive. And we're... A couple of Mondays in from <laughs> Hong Kong, but um, no, look, it was it was great to get home, Prof. It's great to get on that bird. I mm. think I was I was I was done before takeoff. Yeah, in the upright yeah, position. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. You uh, were still were putting you? your bag yeah. in. You yeah, sat and down. you know what? I may as well <laughs> turn right because I just I was basically <laughs> sleeping for eight hours like this. Huh? I was yeah. saying you didn't get the left experience. Didn't get the left experience. Although that little lounge prior to getting on oh, the that bird was, was that nice. cafe lounge. Yeah, cafe yeah. Pacific. The noodle bar. Did no, you, you didn't like the noodles. noodles. <laughs> hey? You weren't into the noodle. What was your plug? Well, no, I was, I was into the noodles. If oh, you, you plugged the noodles. Hong Kong Tourism Board, I, you know, I did the noodle package. Yeah, mm. right. You did. Yeah. I did the pizza oven, if That's you remember. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I tell you, the meatballs. Oof. You did the relaxed room. I did the yeah, relaxed room. Did. did you yeah, have you tea? Did. I had the tea room, yeah. yeah. Let me ask, let me put it to you. Uh, do you miss Hong Kong? Like right now sitting here. Parts of it, yeah. Mm. Nah. Yeah. So, nah. Never going back. The departure time. <laughs> but we will go back next year. Oh, 100%. Like By that 100%. time, we'll be, oh, yeah. we'll be ready to go. Oh, love it. So for me, yeah, I feel, feel good too, Prof. Thanks for asking. Um, oh, but you weren't in any, the dark, deep hole or, that this guy was in. Do you reckon he was as bad? Yes. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for asking. It's not until September 9th or something like that. But, I went uh, are you okay, Dave? Uh, I'm okay. 
So I actually started my very new job first day oh, yes. on the Tuesday before we boarded to Hong Kong. First day, HR, induction, all that sort of sexual harassment, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Tick all those boxes. Yeah, lucky you went in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then Wednesday morning, took off to Hong Kong. See you, team. I'm off to Hong Kong for five days and got back mid-morning Monday. And as everyone would have listened to the last part, I had no voice. I'm in uh, pubs sales at Savills. Um, so if anyone listening owns a pub or wants to buy a pub, I'm your boy. Um, but obviously, I just couldn't speak. I called my boss. And, well, actually, I text my boss saying, mate, <laughs> I, uh, I don't have a voice. It's this probably is best. second day on the it's, job. It's better for everyone that I don't come in today. And he's like, yeah, start fresh tomorrow. So I've actually been pretty productive since being back. Just productive for me in my role is go to pubs, meet with publicans and have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's sort of that's still your, going. You that's found your niche. niche. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So you're back at work on Tuesday, though? Yep. Back at work Tuesday, Wednesday. Went to Ac Rugby on Thursday and Friday. Oh, oh mate, you've got issues. I know. <laughs> I know. And we had a lunch on Saturday. We had a lunch on Saturday. I went to the, races to the races after lunch. Yeah. And then I had a birthday after that that I went to. Sunday, I watched the UFC all day. What time did you get home Sunday morning? Four. Wow. Mm. I didn't think you were going to be that honest with me, but yeah, <laughs> tell everyone. <laughs> tell everyone how much issues you got. Uh, and Goit recovered well, obviously, yep. with the calves a bit sore after running the peak, or? Uh, they're okay. I had a. Masseuse waiting for me when I got home. Oh, did you? Yeah, right. Give me a nice flush. Well, hey, Bianca. Bianca. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, guess who's joining us today, guys? Who is uh, it? It's All Black superstar Caleb Clark. Oh, oh CC. Yeah, good CC get on for the this cocoa. pod. Yeah. Free KK. I know, but like CC on the cocoa. Yeah, got ya. CC on the KK. It works. It. From DC to CC. I mean, wow. whoo, we are flying. This pod is absolutely on the up. Um, if you did miss last week's show, get in and watch it. The Hong Kong special. Mm. It's gone bananas on YouTube. People have loved it. And if you do work for a tourism board uh, that loves people just coming and ripping in in your country, send us an email. <laughs> we are very good at it. Um, hey, there's a brand new segment today for you Northern Hemisphere legends. Mm. It's called the Northern Hemisphere legends segment. Uh, we're going to get into it. <laughs> It's going to be great. <laughs> Just a bit of an update. Plenty of stuff happening up there. Some yep. quarterfinals in the, tell me what the comp is. Champions Cup. Yep. Wonderful, fantastic. And it's very important. Hey, today with these little things, I think you guys are going to help me. I feel like I talk too much at the top. Okay. So can you do the merchandise plug for me to say what's happening? Uh, yeah, merchandise is available even for you um, you thicker fuckers out there. Um, uh, we've got big sizes. Yep. Um, there's more available. I know that maybe a couple had a bit of issue with uh, with shipping over the yep. weekend, but that's been sorted. So get online to this link and uh, links in the bio, all that sort of stuff, and buy your merch. And, and also what we want to see is mm. send us some pics of where, where you're wearing the merch. My, I ra- it's Manly Swim Centre. Yeah. I was in the pool with my, my kids and a guy swam up. Mm. I thought, oh, here we go again. You know, just... With the shirt on. No, but he said oh, I'm really... <laughs> I was thinking that's strange. No, yeah, I just, you know, the swim centre bloke swim up to you. You know what's next, right? But anyway, <laughs> that didn't happen. But he said to me, oh. um, I'm really embarrassed. I went, oh, what's wrong? He said, oh, I've worn the shirt to the swim centre and now you're here. Mm. And I was like, oh, I am so stoked, dude. I didn't think anybody would actually buy them. Yeah. Um, so then I got the photo, sent it to you boys. Uh, we'll put it up now. Um, so people are buying them. Yes. Yeah. And he was really normal. And wearing them. Yeah, I had a couple of people, like friends of mine. Uh, wearing them? that. Um, well, he wasn't wearing it, but his partner was. Oh, I like Also a nice that. option, fellas. Yeah. Well, he- Buy one for your partner, a nice little night shirt. Yeah. Well, when's Valentine's Day? Oh, I don't know. It's December. <laughs> oh, we I missed mean, it. What, what <laughs> you could get in early. <laughs> what, what greater encouragement? You, your missus wearing a shirt saying, Schmidt it in. <laughs> 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 she might even get it in the Schmitter if she's like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that was perfect. And then you, <laughs> we all knew what he was saying. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm a little bit furry. <laughs> I'm looking for a female. Now, the bloke <laughs> I met who was Will was saying kid sizes. Guys, apparently yeah. he, he coaches a kid's team. Oh, kids Shannon. get around with Schmidt it in. How would that be? Schmidt well, it in. Muffy day at school. No, nah, no. They can yeah, just get the Coco show one. Yeah, so yeah, we'll do yeah. Kid I mean, sizes. I didn't know that kids would be watching this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially with that sort of gear that Swoop's yeah. running with today. <laughs> Good gear. Uh, social swoop, I want you to do them for us, mate. Um, yeah, mate, any social platform that you know of, just get to kickoffs and kick ons. It's all the same, isn't it? Yeah. Bang. Except for Except something's for got an end. YouTube. Oh, is YouTube. that it? YouTube. Like yeah. and subscribe. Booyah. Man. If, if you subscribe the first time, then you don't have to worry about searching. It just pops up, you yeah. know? Is that right? <laughs> subscribe. Uh, also, we're at about 13,500 subscribers, mm. so we're looking pretty good. No, <laughs> getting nervous. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, right. I think we're safe. Right. 
It's a shame though. I was actually pretty pumped about that. Yeah, you love the wig in Hong <laughs> yeah. Kong. Also, oh, yeah. say this, eventually we may get to 50. Is the be- Have we got a timeline? Yeah, we have the Super Rugby final. As kickoff oh. happens. Yeah. As the Brumbies are kicking off to the Reds. That's sad. We, uh, we see what I did there. I had two Aussie yeah. sides in the final. Yeah, yeah. I That's noticed. I got a little stat for you. Left later. the Tars out. Well, sorry, Swoop. <laughs> uh, social snitches. I'm going to do this one. Okay. Um, it's a wonderful segment. People send in photographs, videos of our three esteemed panel members. They've been in the media for a very long time. Um, this is a brilliant one. This, uh, this is ap- apparently happened in France. Oh. <laughs> <It is. laughs> Drew Mitchell. How many years were you on the pole? Drew, did you... Uh, like a good if lifting? you can see there, my right ankle, the one that you can kind of see most of it off, there's a good healthy scar down that. I was actually... Uh, rehabbing. Rehabbing my broken ankle around this 2000, was part of the 2012. Rehab. Yeah, I went over to Mexico, Cabo San Lucas. That's where that was. And uh, I thought, you know what? These fucking pins... They can pin to that pole and make, make me stay up there. Can you just explain exactly what's in the photo? I don't think I did that at the top. Oh, there. right. So it's basically me at a, um, an establishment with, which had a pole on the dance <laughs> podium. Uh, and yeah. I'm hanging effectively upside down with my arms out. It's kind of almost the... Levitating, though. The opposite of the Titanic. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I love these social snitches How because every time they're pretty much true. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Have we had one of the other? Oh, we've just had where you guys are looking up at each other's coits. Yeah. But Drew was the best shot in that as well, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. All right, keep sending them in. Social snitches. Where at? Swoop. Where are they sending them? Kickoffs and kick ons. Except if you're sending YouTube. them to YouTube. Don't send them to YouTube. You would never do that. No, you wouldn't do it. It's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> hey, time for our rugby roundup segment. Um, yes, superb rugby. We have reached halfway, as we established at the top of the show. Um, Four games, split round. Love a split round. Mm. Um, mm. Moana, 17, defeated the Reds, 14. Fair to say the story from this one was a lack of discipline. Yep. Yeah, two red cards for the mm. Reds uh, hurt them. And also leadership roles, you know, like a couple of their big, big, bigger name players. Tate McDermott went off. Um, and then Fraser was, I think, was maybe the 73rd minute. Mm. Moana scored with uh, two men um, overlap, I suppose. But... I know the Reds started so well, and they've sort of, I think what they've lost three in the trot now. They have yeah, um, yeah. So Les Kiss has to bring them together. Credit to Moana as well. Yeah, absolutely. They've been yeah. getting flogged the last couple of weeks, so you know they showed a lot. You know, back at home, um, you know, to get that win. So I thought they played really well. Julian Savez still scoring tries, yeah. extending his uh, lead out in the top of the. Oh, high did he though? Because TJ Perinara scored a oh, couple okay. of games he, for he the Canes, yeah. so okay. he's now uh, equaled back up. Yes, yeah. Well, there you go. It's yeah, a good little competition within good the race. competition. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but also, I think um, some of the experience Moana had off the bench, Christian Lele Lefano, yep, Sakopi Kepu as well. Like, you know, no surprise in the back end of the game, um, getting themselves in the right positions. It's you know, experience. You know so, how would Les Kiss deal with that after the game when it's a a lack of control, swinging arms and oh. heads, and would he be still pretty spiritual? Would he still be I burning reckon, the incense, or do you think Les had raised his voice? Ray would would be much deserved. I mean, it was a frustrating watch. I mean, they were the Reds were the first leg of my four leg multi over the weekend. <laughs> I was out after Friday afternoon, but the next three went on to win. That's just Did how they? it goes about it. Yeah. yeah well, that what were your other three legs? For not chasing Tar- Tars, Tars head to head into yep. Canes into Rebs. So. I mean, it was a tidy little mate. Yeah, the game. I, I don't know if um, you would have got lovely odds. I did. Yeah, I don't know it if Les Kiss is the, the, the spraying type. No. I think he'd be the type of coach that if he just came in and just went, "I'm, dis- I'm yeah, disappointed in you, ones. folks." Like yeah. that would hurt more than a spray yeah. from Les. Yeah, I reckon there's enough senior players and um, experienced players in that group to be able to, I don't know, have the right conversations. Um, yeah, maybe he doesn't even need to say anything. Yeah. Mm. Maybe the boys just plant will know a couple that. of seeds and let the group take over it. That's yeah. it. You need that response. Beautiful Waratahs, 43, defeated the Crusaders, oh. 40, the 10-year anniversary swoop. You were there. there. You were in the stadium. It was, it was um, a cracking night. I mean, uh, yeah, they hosted the 2014 players um, to the game. Well, I mean, the players that were available to attend anyway. There's still a lot of players that are playing overseas. Five in Japan, a couple are over there in <coughs> Hugh Roach and... Greg Peterson, obviously, with San Diego in the MLR, a couple are in, in Europe. So there was about 12 players, about 15 staff, um, and we had the opportunity to walk around the field before the game and then create a bit of a tunnel. 
um, a guard of honour. Mm. It, it yeah, is. Yeah, and yeah, we got nice honor. and tight, clapped the boys onto the field. Not so Chris much honour with you parts, in it. Hey? Not so much honour with you in it. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> what time did you start? Did you guys have a little couple of Yeah, we met settlers? at the Light Brigade. At what time? Uh, it was about, I got there about five, five, five thirty. So how are you by the time you put your head on the pillow? Mate, not? they were all mid strengths most of the night. Yeah. yeah, Most of the night. mate of mine was at the game and he said during the game they were putting shots up at the players and he said when your pitcher came up, big roar. Was it? Massive roar. Yeah. Yeah, and he said a dad behind him said to his son, Son, that's holiday swoop. swoop. That's why they, <laughs> you can be him one day. You could be holiday swoop. Have one, one of these. Day. You're on your way. Um, story, obviously, obviously, Will Harrison coming on, replacing yep. Tane Edmed, uh, kicking that penalty to, to tie it up in the 82nd minute, and then obviously the drop goal in Golden Point. Yeah, that's it, huge. I mean, it's oh massive, almost. Yeah, not the same, but um, replicated what you boys did in the yeah, in the final a, ten years ago. You know, right on the side. And Thirteen the lead changes, I think. Yeah. Tommy, is that right? Thirteen lead changes throughout that game. Good yeah. game of footy. The Superb. boys had it, and then obviously that last play of the game from uh, the Crusaders, they went down that edge off that scrum. Yeah. I mean, Lockie Swinton probably didn't sell it enough, being held back. But whether or not, can um, I can I just say was, how well he wears a high pant? Yeah. Oh, oh I love first the touch. try, they were right up. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Do you like that? I do. I love a high pant. I love a tuck in. Yeah, yeah I, I don't I, mind a tuck. You're a big tucker, but big not tuck. a high pant. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I reckon they could just be small shorts. Maybe. I think they're above the navel. <laughs> he yeah. can do it, though. He's got a great rig. Oh, he does. Yeah, well, you know what else he looks good in? Hey, what? A suit, because I saw him and a few of the boys out at the races oh, this afternoon. Go. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good form. Good form. Boys are in good form. Good. Hurricanes 36 defeated the Chiefs 23. As we mentioned, uh, TJ Perinara, he doubled a, a, sorry, he bagged a double to equal the tournament's all time try scoring record. So that's nice. A little bit of toing and froing there. Um, I guess all you'd say is that the Hurricanes, they were um, dominant. Yep. Yeah. Thought the first half they should have been ahead by more. Um, they let the Chiefs back in, I think, with a penalty. The game, I thought the first half probably didn't reflect. Uh, like the scoreline didn't reflect actually where the game was at. The Canes were really dominant. Um, then when the Chiefs actually scored first after the halftime break, I thought maybe Chiefs are in for it, but Canes, they're a special side. Mm. Yeah, Un- unbeaten. Yeah, yeah. Mm. but Drew and next week in Fiji, toughest of road trips. Yeah. Do they keep that unbeaten record? I think so. Like, well... You just you also yeah, like you don't know. Obviously, the home ground is one thing, but the the conditions you can get in Fiji, as we've seen in mm. the last couple of home matches there, Monsoon. can play a huge part. So I don't know that'll be one to watch. They've maybe got a couple out too. The draw that, now. that could be the uh, yeah. Well, yeah, those that was a bit lied too on the sentencing. I think yeah. they got three weeks and and not much or something. It Wasn't somewhere. it ten? It was four, like maybe ten, one. I think Franks was ten. Brought down to six. Yeah, and one was. They didn't bring six down to four. They I didn't think. say what the mitigating factors were that they brought it down. Like it's all a little bit like, if you're not going to give them ten, don't say ten. Just give them six. Who's they when you talk about they? Like the them. The, Is it them? The commission. Yeah. It's yeah. them. Yeah, like bloody commissioner. Otherwise, it's just too much. Now we talk about why was it ten and they're not six. Just say six. Yeah. Then we've got nowhere to. It's not hard, is it, Drew? No. <laughs> you just say what you're gonna give them. Yeah. yeah. Good on you. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm right. I'm right there with you. Yeah. I'm right there with you. Swoop, I want you to take this one. Sure. By the yeah. horns. Rebels 47 defeated the Highlanders 31. There's a certain little Aussie talent that's coming through. Mm. <laughs> Bag Darby. three of them. Hey, Darby. How good is he? Yeah. He's going all right, mate. That try where he had the awareness, the fact that he's on the edge. Uh, fullback covering across. I'm just going to put it through. Yeah. A little, little, little something, some little tickle mm. down the edge. Kept it in play. Mm. Got the bounce. Finished it. Mm. Class. Yeah, he's mm. very wow. Mitchell esque. You reckon? We yeah. moved on from Darcy last year to Derby. Yeah, we're on the Derby train. Yeah, and you love obviously a I do love a dub. <laughs> dub, dub, <laughs> and uh, second in just before the the, the half time, and then obviously picked up some fruit and got the chockies right at the deck. <laughs> got fruit and chockies. Yeah, we love fruit, don't we? <laughs> Bit yeah. of black forest. <laughs> yeah. um, and as Goog mentioned, called him the beekeeper, sticky fingers. Yes, yeah, so which I thought was nice. Yeah, no, nah, very good. Now we are naming our wallabies. 15, wouldn't it be mm. nice? Slot in there at number 11 and number 14. Tool shed. and the tool shed. I knew you were going oh, with I love the tool shed. Mate, you're a real Sorry, wanker. Mate, you're right. Sorry, I'm just an observer. That's yeah, it. That's yeah. ours. I'm sorry. That, that holds no weight, that opinion. Yeah. I've just become one None of those presenters that gives his opinion. It's almost <laughs> like we shouldn't pick them. You just yeah. ask questions. They're not in now. Yeah. You can't do no, that. No, you can't. You've you ruined it. You just had them sacked. I'll move the tool shed to prop if I have to. Yeah, I'm with you. 
Oh, now I'm not doing it. What? <laughs> I was going to do it. I will not say anything else. Hey, um, here's a little uh, curveball for you. Lancaster might be left with an interesting mm, decision. Yeah. You know this one? Yep. You Olympics. Tell me. Yeah. Talk to me. Well, Gee, he's got a clause in his... Uh, on the oh, he's the best. Doesn't he? He's got oh. a clause in his contract uh, during the Super Rugby season to, to if he wants to or if he's selected to go and play for the Aussies uh, in Paris at the Olympics. So... Look, that's just going to be a decision he has to make, but also one that I would say you'd have to consult with John Manetti and the team at um, the Aussie Sevens because, you know, I, w- I would imagine it wouldn't just be for the, the Olympics. He'd want them for the last couple of tournaments going into that. So it wouldn't just be mi- a case of missing mm. one or two weeks. It'd be probably the back half of the season. Very interesting. Uh, and, the, and the Rebels, do, I think they've won three on the trot now. Yeah, they have, yeah. So, so they're, they're almost the opposite, four on the trot. Mm. They're, they're the opposite to the Reds. Started well, poorly, come good. Reds have started well. They're and then, fourth. They moved up before. Yeah, well, wow. the Rebels have never played finals footy in superb rugby. Really? And the year when they've... Even now when two-thirds of the whole comp get in. Jeez. Mm. I'm pushing for all 12 teams in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> Always have been. Hey, it's time for our favourite segment. It is. Hey. Super Sizzler. Here it is. Oh, Super Sizzler. Brought to you by Beef Eater. Life tastes better outdoors. Uh, now, as we can all see, there is some still there is still some bloody great weather out there, in particular uh, in Australia. I don't know what you blokes did on the weekend. Jesus, that was some good weather. Mm. <laughs> so it's still time to get out there and fire up a barbecue um, and watch some superb rugby. Uh, again, it is a massive thanks to Appliances Online. They've lined up this beef eater uh, little... It's over there. Sorry, barbecue for us and the beef eater. Uh, isn't that a beautiful barbecue? Mate, it uh, feels good. It mm. does it. The beef eater support... Um, and this little fridge here, this little baby, that's a beef eater as well. Sure is. You're yeah. kidding. That's, that's where you put fridges. your raw beef before you cook the beef. Mm. Straight away. And beer. If you are a beer sponsor, that's where your beer would go. Where are the beer and, sponsors? And in there. That's right. And then in there. Yeah. Um, all right. Super Sizzler brought to you by Beef Eater. Boys, you know how it works. Who wants to go first? I will. I'll go with Derby Lancaster. Three tries. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was amazing. That little, you know, the little oh, fruit yeah. for the chocolates. <laughs> Sticky fingers. Yeah, that's yeah, me. So. That's the bomber. He, he deserves a beef eater. And he doesn't. Ha- what? What are you going to ask me? Has he got a? <laughs> has he got a beef eater? He doesn't, but he'd love one. He bloody. He love. You know, what? What about this? A barbecue for each try. Three beef eaters. <laughs> Send them down. Send them down. Yeah. 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 Express post. <sighs> All right, boys. Who's next? Swoop dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mate, I'm going. Uh, given that we were there on the weekend, it was a special win for the Tars. I'm going Will Harrison off the oh, bench. Very good. You know, obviously, given his journey, two years out of the game, um, faced all sorts of adversity, but to come on uh, and do it from a position, it was it was a tough one, was it? A bit of 2014 about it. Nardi yeah. about. No, it was 40, a tough kick. About yeah, 40, I agree. A bit longer than Nards actually. Yeah. 44. Yeah. And tougher between, angle between the sticks to go to Super Point or Golden Point, whatever you super. call. it. Super Sorry, point? did I say gold point? That's okay. It doesn't matter. Superb point. Yeah, you're a bit of a leaguey wanker like that, ain't you, Prof? Yes. It's a rugby show. <laughs> Super point. Um, and then obviously puts pulls it back into position and off the left, through yeah. the post. Oh. Yeah. Chocolates. Ask Fruit. me. Has it? Do he hasn't be- got one. What? No, yeah. he doesn't. He, he doesn't? No, he told me on the weekend. Oh, yeah. that's so odd. Were you just talking barbecues? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, just as like... Oi, what's up? You have yeah. barbecue? He's We're like, thinking no. about giving I said, you the we'll beef we'll play well yeah. and you might yeah. get one. Yeah. Maybe we I can like give him the option. Of the that beef or, the or this beef feeder, yeah. Uh, we could do that. Oh, and Don't actually, you know come what? As a package. He deserves both. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Congratulations. Can you follow those two, Mark? Yeah, I'm going to follow them in. Um, <laughs> I've got a couple. Oh, yeah. One, just a, I guess a notable mention. You kind of touched on it. The boys up in Japan from the Waratahs 2014 win. There were six of them. Izzy Flower. Paddy Ryan, Matt Lucas, Bernard Foley, Wycliffe Palu. There's only five, I think, bro. And Bernard Foley. No, there's six in the No, photo. you've already said no. You said Foley twice. There was only five in the photo. Uh, let's get clarity here. Oh, Pause. And, and Nick Phipps. Yeah, yeah of Fanger, there were six. Was six yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was great that they uh, took the time in, in you know, like their competition up there in Japan to get together and, and commemorate their win. Um, but the super scissor for me, he has been mentioned, Lockie Swinton. I think not just... Uh, the last weekend's performance. I think like, he's just since he's come back, he's just really, really added a bit of starch in that Waratahs four pack. He's looking quick. He's looking mm. big. He's looking lean. I like his little frosted tips. Mm. You know, I did that when I first started out. It worked for a point. Then you got to get got to chop it. But also talk about adversity. Like he had some pretty tough times with his shoulder. Um, last year he had some, uh, you know, like a long layoff because it was nerve damage. And there's no saying when that those nerves are going to spark back up and uh, and start 
activating the muscles you need. And he was out with a shoulder injury. And through my previous job with um, the broadcasters, I took him axe throwing. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I took him axe throwing. Was it his dominant shoulder? The no? uh, well, you got to use both hands for axe throwing. Really? And after a few axe throws, he was like, oh, I should probably maybe park this. And then really? he was uh, out for and, we've, and we've seen him <laughs> this, this year. So it's great to see him back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine him. Oh, by the way, has he got a barbecue? He doesn't have a barbecue. Imagine him standing There's so at many that. people that don't have it's a barbecue. Strange. In Australia. Yeah. Yes. Imagine him standing at that barbecue, shirt off, just with the pan a little high, just yeah. with a double plug. Not able on, to lift just, the lid no, he's good <laughs> yeah, he's good. Good. No, I'll be there to lift it for him <laughs> yeah I bet you well are. we're sending one your way uh, my sup- what about super sizzler is Australian rugby as a whole oh wow <laughs> we can, Gee, everyone, you're a suck up what uh, do you and mean? they've got a barbecue I've no, been there listen to this stat this is from the rugby column yep okay this is a percentage of wins against New Zealand sides by Australian sides 2021 there was 8% of wins 2022 20% of wins 2023 20% of wins this year 41% 2024 We are dominating we On are the weekend honey. There was a time hmm. My brother Asked me He said How do you reckon They'll go this year Against uh, New Zealand sides I said What are you talking about He said Well the TRB have offered If Australian rugby Don't get any wins Or maybe One team will win In a calendar year Against a New Zealand team Was paying even money You're kidding That was a while ago money. though Damn. But now Oh, now you couldn't offer two it. games on the weekend between Ooh. Australia and New Zealand. Oh yeah, I and think. we won both. Yeah, easily. Schmidted it in both of them. Oh, we lost to Moana. Huh? What? We lost to Moana Pacific. No, but that's not a New Zealand team. Yeah, it was in New Zealand. And who wins that one, guys? Got a point. <laughs> Is that one all? Is that split? Yeah, I don't know. I'm happy with it. Um, not 41 anymore, it's 40. 40. Still good. That's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm but happy with that. What are you going to do with barbecue? Oh, everybody in Australian rugby will get a beef eater. <laughs> <laughs> I think that includes you blokes. Congrats. Oh, I've Thanks. got one. Of course. As soon did. as this came on, I saw how good it was and I bought one. Of course you did. I bought the fridge. Yeah. Did you? Wonderful. And Swoop, you bought the... Have they got another... Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's time now, gents, for our very, very special guest. You ready for this? Yeah. Hit us. This is a genuine superstar of the game. Hey, uh, Caleb, I know you're listening, but what we like to do is a little intro that Tommy writes for our guests. Uh, he tends to be pretty nice to our guests. Oh, uh, well, lately. So here we go. Our guest this week is a one man wrecking ball that leaves luckless defenders in his wake. Some have said he is a genetic unicorn that is 90% glutes and 10% everything else. <laughs> he is the perfect mix between pace, power and beautiful hair. I mean, what else do you want in a modern day winger? Although he plays for that pretty good team from across the ditch, he is one of these players that all rugby fans sit back and marvel at as he tears the game a new one week in and week out. <laughs> so please welcome a man that with ball in hand has a fearsome bump and then as he runs over you, you can take in his peachy rump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the all black out wide that makes you want to hide. Or the guy that will leave you in a pile, then give you a cheeky smile. It is the one and only Mr. Caleb Clark. Yeah. Oh, thank you, everybody. It's probably the nicest thing that's everyone ever said to me. So. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, uh, thank why you so are you going much? all soft, Tommy? You're going really nice, lad. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think Tommy's a bit of a Caleb Clark fan. He was sitting <laughs> yeah. there watching clips of you all day, Tommy. Weren't you? Nah, hey, nah, let's, start, so. let's start with how are you, Caleb? How are you going? No, good, good. Um, real honoured to be on here, so thank you for the invite. Uh, just, yeah, new week. I feel pretty good after a bye week, so body feels good. Happy to be back with the boys and yeah, looking forward to some rugby on the weekend. How long did you get off? I mean, how long did the coaches give you? I can't imagine it'd be too long. You guys are sitting pretty well, um, you know, travelling. Uh, I think you're, what, second on the ladder? Um, so mm. I can't imagine you got too much time off or, or did they actually give you the week? No, they gave us the week. Um, oh. We had a good good preparation coming into the force and so uh, Dren said to us, boys, if it's a, a performance that we're proud of, then we'll have the week off. And so all of us took that and just ran with it <laughs> and... Yeah, that was that's pretty generally much the way, though. Remember, if, you, if your team's going well, the coach is like, yeah, go off you go. But when your team's struggling, yeah. he just gives you a couple of days, you know, yeah. you're travelling pretty shit. Yeah. Well, Caleb, you just said you ran yeah. with it. Where, where did you run with it, mate? What did you do in your time off? Um, pretty much the next day, because we played on the Friday. We were over to Sydney on the Saturday to watch uh, my mate Roger play his 200 game for the Wild. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. um, so I did that and then pretty much came home on the Sunday and it was family time, relaxed and just hung out with my dog so uh, nice and chill you didn't manage to get any squatting done 
uh, during your week off. The reason I ask is you've got luscious quads. I, I love them. I think they're phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, they are. But Drew's always pride himself on being the squat king. Strong legs. Well, I wouldn't say king, but I can squat. You would say king. Okay, you said king. king. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where are you at with your squatting? What's your best you've ever done? Oh, I had bad hips over the years, so I haven't squatted in like the last one's trap bar deadlift because my my go to. Oh yeah, True. can um, you compare to that one? I, I don't mind a bit of a trap bar deadlift when we came back for 2015. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely option yeah. rather yeah. than the front yeah. grip, the side grip. Yeah. How does it work? Sorry guys, I mean I go to the gym a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when I'm on <laughs> the elliptical, I don't really <laughs> see. <laughs> How does it work, wow. Caleb? Do you, who wants to show it here? Just quickly, just. Oh, the trap yeah, bar? Yeah, just show it. I mean, the trap bar is sort of one of those... It's something you stand Sort of in. like a, a, a diamond-shaped oh, I've bar. I've seen blokes doing yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Down here and you're, you're getting, mm. uh, yeah, oh, hip forward. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we <laughs> talking the there? Quads. What type of numbers? What do you got for us? Oh, actually, because we had the week off, we had to uh, get our one hour in this morning, so I got 290. Oof. I was pretty happy with that. That's good, yeah. Um, yeah, that's big. But squatting was, I think, <laughs> yeah, 10 is the best I did. He so squatted like, a 2 Have you hit a 2 Well, he's got me in trap, but I've got him in squat. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. We'll just call it even oh, then. Oh, let's, oh, let's, okay. let's not do any more <laughs> testing because I'm a bench yeah. bitch. I've got little spaghetti arms. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would love, you go. No, I just want to stay on this. 290, <laughs> where, where are you at? No, I think I before 2015, I, oh, I was 250, so shades away from... But you're no, like probably yeah. I was. I that was popping a grape, little little hemorrhoid <laughs> out the butthole. No, honestly, <laughs> that's Henry. that's really good. That's also my like five rep one. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for Drew. That's a warm up. Warm up Caleb. <laughs> hey Caleb, um, we've been reading a bit about the Blues the last few days. Can you give us a bit of an insight into your teammate Anton Segner? Yeah, it's a it's a good one. That German born and raised, came over here. I think during high school he said, and no, nah, he's a he's a funny guy. Him and um, Angus Sarval, the the loudest in the team. Honestly, they have no volume level. It's just loud, or they're not talking at all. So, but he's a good guy, good kid, and yeah, just a real good teammate. So I wonder what a... brings him over from Germany. I'd say his parents, or a plane. Nah, so yeah, but you've got to have yeah. an opinion, though. Yeah, like his yeah. parents are still there, Andrew. So right. you're wrong. So. Yeah. So the story is that he was playing soccer, correct, Tom? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, there was a coach, a Kiwi coach, correct, in Germany. Mm. And he spotted him and said, forget this centre forward crap. Come over, you're a big man. Come and play some, what is he? Is he a flanker? What position? Yeah, back row, yeah. Yeah, back yeah, row. Lucy. Brought, yeah, brought him down to New Zealand. Uh, and Gee, then, they must have some cash at the Blues. <laughs> <laughs> I want to check that salary cap. He, he probably took it all too because it's paying, paying for his flights of the comedies he had his car, so he's got it all. Um, yeah, so that, a very interesting story. I didn't know there was... Is there any rugby in Germany? Can anybody Yeah, there's in? teams. Is yeah, there? they're a team. Yeah, they're, a, they're an emerging nation. Yeah. They've got, I think there's like Munich Sevens or something. It's one of the, one of the yeah, decent sort know. of satellite no. Sevens calls. But, uh, he did mate, say he played as a kid, so I think there is... Yeah, nice. Mate, and how are you finding uh, your form this year and... Uh, you know, like moving forward and obviously yeah. halfway through Super Rugby now, one eye sort of later in the year with the, the, the test team and all that sort of stuff, you're feeling confident with uh, with where you're at? Oh, I'm not so like, I'm quite the, the person that just likes to stay in the here and now. So yeah. uh, I've just been trying to have fun with my mates and that's pretty much all I've been focusing on. So um, I can come home after a game and, and be happy. It's, it's helped in the last couple of weeks and maybe dad has other ideas, but I mean, I'm, yeah, just happy with how it's going so far. I want to hope they keep that rolling. Speaking of the here and now, have you got a girlfriend? Are you single? Nah, single. So okay, so that's you perfect. You are watching the podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's leads me into my favourite question. What's your favourite question to ask on a first date if you were to go on one? Oh, that's a good question. Mm. Mm. I haven't gone on many, so haven't had to think much about it. Mm. No. What's yours, Goy? What's your all? Mine. Ooh. Oh. Do you sleep on the first date? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not. Agree- I'm not. I'm not down for that. No, right. I got you. <laughs> nice. Yes. Good save. Good save. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have one then, Caleb? Sorry, I I cut you off. No, no, no. It would be weird. It would just be like, what's your relationship like with your family or something like that. Yeah, My that's not weird. family's that's always mm. family. Nice. And so, Netflix as well. Yeah. <laughs> like what shows are you into? Like, what's your go-to? I love Yellowstone mm. when it came out. Yeah. Yeah. 
I could talk. To, yeah, that, <laughs> I could talk to anyone about that. <laughs> Who would you think your character is if you were to like, you know, compare yourself to a character on there? Oh, on a show, yeah. Which one Ooh. would you be? Yeah, that's very good. Oh, you'd have to be a rip, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, did you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah tie me to a horse. <laughs> no. Have you seen that guy? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Uh, Caleb, obviously there is a bit of a new All Blacks era happening. Um, Scott yeah. Robertson at the helm now. Um, yeah. Are you excited about working with, with Robbo? Yeah, he's... um, he's. Well, we've had a camp earlier in the year and... Um, he has a, a lot different philosophies and um, it was quite cool to see you know, it's like a, a breath of fresh air so uh, I'm pretty excited if I get to get to join the team later on but you know his track record speaks for itself when he was at the, the Crusaders and given on the truck so um, he definitely knows what he's doing and he's got a good team around him as well You mentioned you know that camp with Scotty Robinson earlier on in the year and it being a, a breath of fresh air I couldn't admit Imagine yeah. it being too fresh with the Broncos that yeah. he hit you with, right? Just the, the amount Christmas. of dirty air. I mean, what was the the time there that um, the oh, I've forgotten his name now. The reserve half for Roy, Go- uh, Roy, Roy Guard. Guard. What was it? A, a four yeah. nine ten, f- no four six four eleven. Well, apparently it's controversial, really? wasn't mm. it? Whether he beat Bodie's record, is it confirmed? They or? say like oh, the time said one thing, but then like, like when the video showed when he ran past, it was meant to be another, but. No, I'm pretty sure it was like 412, 411 or something like that. that something crazy. It's outstanding. Yeah. Um, wow. like sprinting the whole way. Caleb, they must was, do yards over in New your, Zealand. I want to know what your time <laughs> was. I want to know what your time is because, I mean. Oh, that camp actually got my PB. So I was pretty happy I got 430. Oh, jeez. So, um, I've never been in the 430s before that, but um, put a lot of work in after coming home post World Cup and just wanted to try and lose some weight and have wow. fun. Can but you ex- just explain to the... I mean, I know what a Bronco is. Yeah. So I do them a lot. But for people at home that aren't aware <laughs> of what a Bronco is, can you, Goit, I know... There's no one better than the Goit. To Goit, no. the Bronco. So you go Damn. zero to the 20-metre line, back to the zero, out to the 40-metre line, back to the zero, out to the 60-metre line, back to the zero, and that's one rep. You've got to do five. Consecutive, yeah. Consecutive, and then no, no, no. when you get back after the fifth rep, after the 60-0, that's your time. Which is a total of 1.2 Ks? It is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Caleb did it in 430. Yeah, what 30. are you doing it in, Goit? No, nowhere near that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Swoop? Lies. He's, 430. He's a 430 runner. No. He's Swoop, a you're best. Runner. You did one in Kobe. I got a 430. Yeah, 429. Yeah, there you go. Oh, of course oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I... Weirdly, I always had a bit of hamstring awareness oh, on, on, uh, on, yeah. on, on Bronco Day, so nah, I just old bulled it and got that out. That was of me it. the last few, the last few camps. <laughs> put him on the yeah, ride. Yeah. <laughs> Caleb, earlier in the year, you came over and trained with the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Um, yeah, see where I'm steering this. Yeah, yeah. rugby league. He loves yeah, it. Yeah, rugby league. Hey, uh, I saw on a news report that you said if Greg Inglis picked up the phone and called you, that you would switch to rugby league to play for the Rabbitohs. Is this still the case? <laughs> I mean, because oh, we know how they're going this year, Caleb. Oh, he's still a hero of mine. And, you know, I still feel the man at the moment. Oh, my gosh, sorry, I'm getting a call too. Is it, it's not Greg Inglis, is it? <laughs> no, no, that's my, that's my agent, Paulie Week. He's probably, he's probably, probably telling, telling you telling to get, get off Greg this Inglis podcast. Is, <laughs> like, if Greg Inglis rang, I'd probably say no, but no, nah, they're just, nah, he's still a hero of mine and someone I still watch his clips uh, Get ready for a big game too. Well, you said um, just before when you're talking about your Bronco, how you, you came back from the World Cup and you wanted to put it the work in and, and come back fit and and, uh, and 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 good get a good time, which you did. Was part of that the the Rabbitohs training? Like, how hard was that training that you did compared to what we do in Union? I think I don't know. Because I could only compare it to like the All Black Caps and where we were in the All Black on field for so long mm. um, would be on like two hours three almost three hour kind of field sessions but um the revenues they're already six weeks into pre-season so their field sessions were just short sharp and intense which is for me i love that um i'm like i can't like stay engaged and stay focused um when there's too much talk especially on field so um for me i got chucked in the deep end had to learn on the go and um, that's what i love doing what position would and you play if you did crossover Oh, probably the wing because oh, yeah. well, I like to play growing up I was a fullback but 
I don't think I could take the pressures on on uh, NRL or back more nowadays. Carrying out a yardage in NRL nowadays, though, like yeah. as a winger, like Joey yeah. Manu on the weekend did three hundred and forty nine yards Ooh. from fullback. Yeah, it's a long way. It's crazy. It's a long way. That you talk about. Yeah, swooped about earlier. That hurt me because I had the Knights at the start of my multi. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was real tight <laughs> as well. You'd love to see it though. He's the number one ranked in the Super Rugby competition for meters gained, mm. sitting at five hundred. 58 maybe. Oh, he loves a stat swoop. <laughs> well, it's right in front of me. Yeah. I mean, imagine this bloke catching a catching a receipt and just running towards your front line. Like, I mean, you'd hate to be. We don't want to receipt. imagine that. We want to imagine. Yeah, we, we want to keep him there. Oh, you're right. If we're going to imagine know. anything, if we're going to imagine anything, I'd love to imagine like a TV show. If you were in it, what show would you love to be a star in? <laughs> Any me? TV show. Is there one person or anything in particular you'd love to be? A bachelor. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Went well for the honey badger, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, he's married now. Nah. Got a couple of kids. I oh, know, Sorry, but I just people the, at the end of the episode. Yeah. 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 We want to come on the show as well, don't we? <laughs> um, did you have another answer there other than the bachelor, Caleb? That's the only one that comes to mind, so I'll just yeah. stick with that. Yeah, nice. That one. Very good. Hey, guys, did we have anything else for Caleb? I'm just aware he's got to go no. at half past. Did you want to get into the quiz no, or did you have another? Yeah, I'll just, just one more, I guess, yep. just on the on the wingers. Obviously, there's so, so much uh, depth there in New Zealand. Uh, Talia, on the opposite side to you in your own team. But how do you go in uh, mentally up against you know the, the opposing wingers, knowing that arguably week in, week out, you, you, you may be vying for something bigger later, later on in the year? Yeah, it's just going back to sort of what the goals is. As for me personally, that's, um, getting the ball on my hands, running and just sticking to my strength. So, uh, just yeah, knowing that whoever we're up against, or especially for me, um, other New Zealand rugby teams, like I always look forward to those clashes because that's potentially who you go up against mm. when it comes to the black jersey. So, uh, yeah, just try and stick to my strengths, and I always just want to beat the opposing person. And if you're on my way. I'm sorry. Do <laughs> well, I was going to say? Do you throw any lip? Uh, I'm not much of a lippy player, but um, but I've been more reactive if something happens to yeah. me. Then I'll be like, "Oh, you didn't want to go?" <laughs> <laughs> Over the years, I've always been the guy. I was like, "I was the guy." No, stop, <laughs> stop, stop fighting. Nowadays, I'm like, "Yeah, come to the wrong." Is there is there a player that you can remember, like your favourite that you've run over someone? I know we said last question, but Drew, you were talking oh. about a goal of yours to get your hands on the ball as often as possible. Defenders obviously don't want that. Is there one player that you can, or one moment you can remember where you absolutely beasted someone? Almost like Jonah in 95, you know, against England, something like that. I remember back in my under-20s days, played against England in the final and read over the fullback pretty well and that stuff in my mind. But probably more recently, I think a couple of years ago, had to run into my mate Tom Wright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got him good at Eden Park, so <laughs> yeah, just we'll getting to do that, that in front of my yeah. family. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, Tom Wright, he's my mate, so... Um, did sorry to him after and went on our way. <laughs> now, um, we are getting to this quiz, but before we go, I know I said last question, oh, but I've had well, Ollie... Drew actually said it. Sorry, Drew. I've had Ollie hold up some fingers. He's held up seven fingers, which mm. I believe means I should ask a question about the sevens. Um, Caleb, you obviously won silver in 2020, well, technically 2021 with the All Blacks. Any mm. thought... Well, we've just seen the uh, Kiwis win both the men's and the women's in Hong Kong. Um, any thought to you at any change switching back to the sevens? Nah, I, I had my had my go at that. I was a travelling reserve, so um, didn't end up getting on the field. But I think my my time in sevens is done, and hopefully can just the fifteen or thirteen. Oh, see how we go, Molly. Nah, yeah, shit question. Ollie. Yeah, there's not many sevens players trapped deadlifting two ninety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I don't know, Maddie Levi might be <laughs> yeah, after true. meeting her. Goodness me, did you still get a medal, Caleb, for even being in the reserves? Nah, I just got a handshake and said, thanks for coming over. Nah, I really <laughs> everyone bullshit. gets a medal, surely. <laughs> yeah. I think even staff get it. I'd say so. I hand yeah. them out to anybody. Hey, um, let's do this quiz. Yeah. 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 It's time for the quiz. <laughs> all right, this one, it's all about Caleb Clark. Is the mm, subject. Okay. Oh, you're kidding. Guys, subject is Caleb Makes Clark. Sense. You three will be competing against each other. You know how it works. Mm -hmm. Caleb, if you could do us the honour of revealing the answer once we get to it. Now, I believe that in this little oh. chat, you guys have revealed two of the answers already. Okay. So poor little sweaty Tommy over there is trying to write a question as quick as he can. 
Um, he's just handed me a bit of paper. He is panicking. All right, question number one. Can I do question number one, Tommy? Thank you. World Rugby did a video segment online to find the fastest player in World Rugby and Caleb won the cha- challenge. Who did he beat in the final stages to claim the title? A, Louis Rees-Samet. B, Ange Capuzio. C, James Lowe. Or D, Namani Nadolo. <coughs> it's not Nadolo, please. <laughs> To put this Can I? Um, you want to go first? I'll go lock it in, sure. Yeah. I want to go. Um, little little man crush of mine, and Capuzio. B. Who would you like to go? Capuzio. B. Sound. I'm just saying it. Drew's got his Rich. finger on the pulse. I'm going Capuzio. Oh. <laughs> Caleb. Yeah, that's correct. So B. <laughs> and Capuzio. Oh, so it was actually meant to be Louis Rousseau. So. You're not always going first. Right yeah, yeah. Molto bene, grazie. Just don't let Drew go first. Oh, that's a good shout. Okay. <laughs> Question number two. After Caleb Clark's first start for the All Blacks, where they beat the Wallabies 27-7, to mm. what did a New Zealand fan do after the game that made news? A, ask Caleb for his game-worn underpants. B, streaked across the field with body paint saying, I love Caleb. C, handed Caleb a prize sheep to give him after the game. Prize sheep. Sheep. Mm-hmm. Bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> D, called Crime Stoppers to report several tourists being run over. Oh. Mm. So, oh. I... I don't know, but that last one rings oh, a bell. Oh, it's a bit mean. Crime Stoppers. Oh, really? I know it's mean, but oh, okay. some, somewhat rings a bell. No. Nah. Unless it was... <laughs> no, no, no. In, mate. Don't be thrown off by me. Lock in the last one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go the streaking. Streaking, B. Yeah. I'll go Lucky Undies, but I think it might be D. Lucky Undies, Caleb. No, I think it's D too, but I don't yeah. actually know. It is D. Yeah, D. None D. of the yeah. other ones yeah. sound Yes, somebody yeah. uh, rang oh, up. Oh, really? And said because I thought that was one of Tommy's jokes, you know. No, can no, we get a yeah. score check at Footy Park? <laughs> <laughs> score check, swoop one. Swoop Sorry. two. Swoop two. One, one, one. 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 Kick to come. Caleb was given a nickname whilst in the Blues and All Blacks camp that he isn't a big fan of. What is Caleb's nickname? Are we doing this, Tommy? I suppose yeah, he's yeah. over there. He's not going to come and hit me. <laughs> a, jab of the butt. B, Caleb Clark Dashian. C, the king of... Digi Booty, D. Caleb the Coin Collector. Oh, because Djibouti. Um, Ooh. I'm going to say the Coin Collector as they get on the bus. D. Coin Collector. C. What was C? C. The King of Djibouti. 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 Uh, I'm going to go Coin Collector just to catch up on Swoop. Coin Collector. Caleb. That nah, was A. Jump at the butt. Oh. <laughs> People are nasty. Don't listen to them, mate. Yeah. No, nah, I was just I'm a Star Wars fan, and so when I knew who it was after, I real thought, oh, "Now, can you take it, please?" <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, score check. None of you got anything there. No. Two, one, one. Uh, question number five. I've been alerted to do by Tommy in a 2020 test against the Wallabies, where Clark had 12 tackle bu- tackle bus from eight runs, a completely dominant performance. What did Caleb accuse Aussie skipper Michael Hooper of doing <laughs> to try and affect a tackle on him? Was it A, pull his hair, B, threw out a lazy boot for a trip, C, pull his shorts down, D, grab him by the orchestra stalls? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with the stalls. Stalls, D? <laughs> um, Might have had a ratty back then too, did you? Ooh. Had long hair back then, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go the long hair one. I don't Pull his think hair, that Hoops would throw a leg out, but maybe pants down. Pants down. Pants down tackle. Caleb, the answer? Oh, he grabbed me by the nuts. Yes. <laughs> he's a he's dirtbag. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I think it was an accident. No, nah, sure it wasn't. <laughs> Having a training all the time. He's got form. <laughs> yeah. Did you, hey, Caleb, did you try and get Hoops back? No, our physio was saying to try and get them back, but I think I just put a fend on them later on and was like, yeah, that was it. But it was nothing for sure. I thought a nut for a nut would be fair. It's very hard <laughs> to go for someone's thing. nuts, though. Yeah, that's the old so, nut for I think, oh, you got me good too. Actually, really here, I still remember it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've been handed question number seven. Um, how many test tries has Caleb scored? Oh, he really worked out. That was a tough one, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> A5, B7, C8, D4. Just a reminder, 2 2 1. Who's ones? Drew. Drew. <laughs> I'm going to go 8. 8, so C, swoop. Um, what are you reading here? Don't look. No. You can't look. Swoop. <laughs> no, no. Uh, well, 4. Uh, 
I want to say four. Four? Seven. <laughs> Seven. Caleb, the answer? Uh, I don't actually know. I'm trying to count myself. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not mini. So it's not mini. <laughs> you got him? It was a five? It is five. Oh, ding, ding, oh, ding. Yes. None of us got it. <laughs> Who was the closest? Yeah, seven. You, if you're below, you're out. Yeah. Generally. Okay, tiebreaker. How this is the tiebreaker? Sure. How you're much will the Wallabies beat the All Blacks by this year? <laughs> Closest wins. One. Ding, one. Ding, ding, yeah. ding. There you go. Everybody wins. Hey, we're just going to call it a draw. We don't have anything else. We're going to let Caleb go. Caleb, thank you so much for joining us, mate. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. No, thanks very much. Yeah, thank keep, you. Uh, go well for the rest of the year, bro. Yes, thanks, guys. Thanks, Caleb. Great fella. Great, Great fella, fella, yeah. Lovely. Superstar. Lovely, Good to watch as well. Mm. If only he had that temperament out in the field. Yeah. <laughs> Terrifying. How would you have taken him down on the wing? Oh, I wouldn't have. Okay. <laughs> I would have, like, maybe... By the agates. No, like, slow <laughs> yeah, him down for work. the second yeah. man in to make the tackle. Mate, whatever you got to do. <laughs> um, a lot of people like to... Um, what they, what's it called? They link us to... Somebody's put up a Wallabies thing, and there was one during the week... You versus England and somebody just running over the top of you? No, I don't think he ran over the top of me. It was me chasing oh, Chris Ashton. No, and everyone's like, was, oh, he's yeah, no. I'm like, fuck off. He was fast. Good on him. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> you slipped a little No bit. one said anything about um, Will, Will Genia's turnover and James O'Connor not chasing. Like, no, it's only on yeah. me. Uh, oh, don't throw well, Rabs I, and Willie in there. I haven't gone back and watched that clip <laughs> at all. <laughs> Came from the other side of the fucking field. Yeah. <laughs> I should not have brought it up. I regret it immensely. Okay, it's time for our brand new segment. It's called. I don't know if we'll make one in there anyway. It's called Northern Hemisphere Legends. Mm. Just to keep the NHLs happy. Mm. Um, <laughs> the NHLs. Yeah. Can we use that? The yeah. NHLs. It yeah. might be copyrighted. For some, oh, what else is it? Some ice small hockey. Oh, Isn't that game over there? <laughs> uh, have you heard about the World Club Cup in 2020 and 2028? Mm. They are going to get, listen to this, four-week tournament will be held in the Northern Hemisphere in June of 2028. It will include eight teams from Europe, Six Super Rugby teams and two from Japan. Mm. Uh, so the top eight in the Champions Cup, the top six finishes in the Super Rugby and the two finalists in Japan, they'll take it on. And I guess uh, it's lots of cash, strong commercial gains for all the clubs and stakeholders involved. However, some countries might miss out. Good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's on merit. Like, if you're having a World Club challenge, you can't just have the teams for, like represented from every country just because. If they're not the best, then they're not in it. How keen are you as a player, though, to have another tournament thrown in there, you know? like, And it's not like a one-off, like the winner. You've got to play off. Like, yeah. I'd be a bit against that. You? Yeah, well, so it'd be factored into your contract, so they'd give you plenty of cash for it, Goit. So maybe no. you will be a rat. <laughs> it sounds like I'm in. <laughs> Swoop? Yeah, I reckon it'd be great. Fantastic. Um, okay, you're well, a I think, it just, <laughs> I think it just stops some of the debate because, you know, like everyone up in like top 14, so that's the premier yeah. competition. People in England say the English Premiership is. Us down here, we say that Super Rugby, like... Does Japan say they're the best? Uh, they Well, they're going to be top four. was parading like he was world champion, yeah. Japan are apparently going to be top four by the next couple of years, so that's what their new coach has said. Is it, who's coaching them? I'm not sure. EJ. Beaver. Um, European quarters, uh, this is in the Champions Trophy. Mm -hmm. um, now, we've each been, we've been given a game yep. to, to analyse, nice and quick. Harlequins, 42. They defeated your old team, Swoop. Bordeaux, 41. Um, what's your read on it, mate? C'est un dommage. Um, I mean, the stage was set. Full house at Shaban de Mars. Quarterfinal against Harlequins. I mean, the week before they played Saracens, which, oh, you know, <laughs> got a really good review of. Um, <laughs> uh, and they played, you know, brilliantly. But um, this game just didn't seem to go their way. Harlequins were too strong in D. Um, but, you know, there was it was a high-scoring game. It was Close like finish. 41-40 in the end. 81 points in 81 minutes. Um, and Bordeaux brought it back and could have grabbed it at the end. I think Luku missed the conversion at 76 minutes to put them in front. Uh, and they just couldn't scramble in that last four minutes, gave away a penalty. And then Harlequins actually went for goal, but not for goal. They went for... Yeah, dead. Oh, Kick yeah, it dead. The moat. Yeah, yeah. right. And uh, dead, and that was it. So it was sad to see because there's actually quite a few Aussies playing for Bordeaux. You've got Pete yeah. Samu, Adam Coleman. Kane ben Douglas. Ta Kane Douglas, Ben Tapawai. Um, and they've been travelling really well. You know, they'll do really well in the top car tours, but um, it's a shame that they didn't get through to the semis. That was really yeah. good, that assessment. Yeah. Harlequins yeah. have never been in the quarters before. Yeah. And obviously, friend of the show, Joe Marler. Yeah. Uh, he didn't play. So, congrats <laughs> to Joe. He's uh, still at Shell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sniffing the whiff. <laughs> still in his car. Danny Kerr didn't play either. Ah, right. Who had Leinster 40 defeated La Rochelle 13? Yeah, that was me. Yep. 
How good are the crowds too? Mm. Oh, no. Once you watch the European competition, absolutely. Humming. You know why it's boutique stadiums, mate? It's. Oh. I wouldn't call it boutique. The Aviva was holding eighty-five. Or yeah, sorry, but, I was yeah. looking at your one. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's the game I looked at. Yeah. On you go. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, Lancer, they're class above. Yeah, obviously La Rochelle, they've got the history. I think they won the last two years. Is that right in the Champions yep. Cup? So they're going for the for the triple. Uh, not to oh, be. It's tough to do. Tough to do. I don't know too many teams that have done it. <laughs> the um, for those of you listening, they just bumped fists yeah. and smiled. Uh, but yeah, Lance are there. Very similar to Ireland, like the way they play. Everyone knows their role. Um, they just move at motion in attack. They're unbelievable. I think Jameson uh, Gibson Park. Mm. Did you yeah. cough that? No, I was like, like mm, he's oh, you're in good disagreeing. Form. No, yeah. he's in good form. He's but he's great good. for Ireland too. Yeah, creates so many decisions around the ruck. Uh, yeah, he can play anywhere. Yeah. I think for Ireland, one of those... Filled in on the wing yeah. um, and knew the role, like to run an inside ball off one of the players during the World Cup there. Yeah, but he's just a very smart player. I think uh, a lot of their attack comes off him. He scored a try, had one disallowed. Well, not disallowed, called held up, but I thought he scored it. But yeah, they're, they're looking pretty uh, pretty dominant, Leinster. And La Rochelle, um, you know, I thought they've got some great players there. They've been dominant for a long period, but I think they just came up against a better team on the day. Very good. It's nice work. Uh, I was next. Northampton 59 defeated the Bulls 22. That was my game to watch. It was done at a boutique stadium, which I thought was great. Um, Bulls picked their B team, which was quite controversial because they want to win the league rather than the European final. So they left their best players at home. Willie LaRue, Cannon Moody and Kurt Lee Aronser were all left at home. And apparently it was going to be eight flights for the team from Pretoria to Northampton. Or eight different airlines. Trying to work that out. You, yeah. you can't go direct. You've got to go to Joburg. Then Joburg, yep. there must be nothing direct coming in. I can't see how they can get eight. Yeah, well, that's what they're claiming. Uh, maybe any- unless it's four there, four back. <laughs> yeah, maybe I didn't think of that. Maybe mm. that's, yeah, that's fair enough, actually. Yeah. Uh, nine tries to three demolition in a great game of touch footy. That is my right. okay. <laughs> good summation. That's wow, summation. that's punchy. Well, Northampton, they take on Leinster next week. Um, and I, we worked out on this podcast, I should not give my opinion. So. <laughs> I know, Sweep, you've done yours. Drew, yeah. Toulouse, 64, defeat. Jeez, there were some scores yeah. on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Defeated Exeter, 26. Yeah, I mean, Toulouse are looking sharp. Like, who, who the, does that mean they've got then? They've got... Toulouse, they take on the Harlequins. Harlequins, so it's going to be a toulouse Leinster final, you'd imagine. Mm. Um, and I say that with respect, but Toulouse, just they just look like they're absolutely homing. DuPont, interestingly, didn't play Hong Kong last weekend, stayed back to play with Toulouse. Um, maybe the Champions Cup was yeah. the reason why. He heard Holiday Swoop was going to Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah. He was avoiding you. Right? Um, and then partnering up again with uh, Roman Intermac, who got injured just before the World Cup last year. Uh, you know, the French halves pairing right there, um, steering them around. You got Thomas Ramos on the bench for Toulouse. I mean... A spoil of riches there. I mean, he started at fullback for, for France last year. He started at 10 for the uh, Six Nations at one point. So to have that kind of calibre off your bench, there's many Miafu who was he played at the Winger Rats. He's now eligible for France. He's playing for France now. Um, and uh, Richie Arnold, the, the brother, identical twin of Rory. Uh, those two in the locking position. So a couple of ties to Aussie team, uh, to Aussies. But um, yeah, I mean, across the park, Toulouse, they're just the quality of player on starting but also bench I just think they're going to be really hard to beat that final if it is what I predict it's probably going to be mm. the, other, the other two now that I've said that but no won't. you don't mock anyone yeah. <laughs> Len, I'm predicting Leinster to lose final Whoa. you did say before we came on the pod that you thought it was theirs to lose oh I did yeah. but I see what you did there yeah you just wanted to replay my that. joke. Yeah. It was very good. I yeah. enjoyed it from start to finish. Hey, um, what a segment. Guys, mm. that's a, that was a great give segment. Some juice, give me some juice. I got up. Oh, a bit of secret sauce. Yeah, that's a great give segment. Me some, give, me, give me a secret guys, sauce. That is, give me some. That is a sp- bloody... Prof, give me a secret sauce. Sorry, yeah, yeah, give me... No, am no, I doing I, that? Yeah, no, like, you go that way. I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not weird at all. <laughs> um, there you go. That was Northern Hemisphere Legends. Watch that get a sponsor, boys. Mm. Yeah. One of those Northern Hemisphere... Like Guinness or something. Oh, I reckon Selfridges would be lovely. Oh, Harrods. They had so many options. What do you see the perks being out of Selfridges? <laughs> They'd have a plunge pool for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've been pushing a plunge for a while uh, now. This is all you're after. Yeah. Gents, we are going long as we always do. All that's left oh. to do is the Halfway Wallabies starting 15. This is where you put your learned eye over the players that have been playing at the moment for Australia and you pick your 15. You've each been assigned positions. Yes. yes. Let me run through these. Not happy with one of them. Okay. 
As in the number I was given. You, if I can find this, I can never find anything. Well, we start with me. I was a three. Thank you. Six, eight, ten, twelve. Well, let's. Should we go? Let's start do it with in me. Order, right? No, we're doing. I'll go with the one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mate. But he was fumbling I've through his pages. A, I had, uh, he didn't have his glasses on. Okay, Good just shout, put actually. in Angus Bell, number one. Thanks. Angus Bell. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. He's uh, obviously got a toe injury, but uh, if he gets on top of that, he will walk into that spot. Uh, Bell. Uh, we've still got slips as well. He's been on the pod. Yeah, absolutely. It, oh, that's true. A little bit of bias. Well, to the pod. I'd, I'd have slips at three because he plays both. Interesting. So if you don't put him there, we'll see how much love you give him. We might as well skip to number three then. <laughs> Let's go through and we'll come back to two. Okay. Who would you like? Uh, slips. <laughs> I did have, you know what? Semi Talakai would be yeah. good just because he's a great singer. Yeah, he's and You a need fantastic someone who can singer. sing there. Yeah. Do you want me to do, do you go a slip slip slash No, no, no. No, I don't want no. to. He's not been on the pod, so. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Fair enough. Uh, and yeah. then the hooker, that was you, Swoop. Let's go back to two. That was me, the Faz, my boy, Matty Fassler. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you get around the park, Faz? Yeah. Oh, I can, mate. Loves park. Loves okay. park. Yeah. yeah. Loves getting around. This is yeah. a great segment. <laughs> four. <laughs> Who's got the four? Uh, you do, Drew. Uh, I'm going to go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm going to make these a short distance. Will Skelton. Oh, yeah. I'm, I know we said Billy. superb rugby, but we're picking our Wallabies team. Uh, I yeah. thought he wears five. I'm putting him at four. I want him on behind that tight head or that loose head, whichever one the four yeah. backs down behind. I want him doing what the five should be doing. <laughs> like we, can we get somebody who's actually. I'm doing this. Literate? Tommy, you come in and write it. Sorry, apologies. Uh, then what comes five after was four? Swoop. Yeah, five, five was me. A couple of honourable mentions. Um, oh, don't. Oh, just, just pick it, please. Kate and leave them Neville out. Bartos. It's uh, cutthroat. Luke just do Hunt, it. Salakai Lotto. I want to go with Frosty. The yep. Frost. Yeah, I like it. Bronze. Very good. The six you had gets. I'm going with Bobby Valentini. Ooh, He's no been there. destructive the way he carries. Is he the first man picked for the Wallabies at the moment? With his Brumby on each chest? Yes, I'd say so. <laughs> Drew's up. There's no N. There's no N it's in Vala. Valentini. That's okay. Yeah, perfect. Do you uh, just want me to write Fraser McWright? Or do yeah, you... Fraser. Straight Fraser, in. There you I go. know he's in the Naughty Boys chair this Ooh, week yeah, with, with the red card, but uh, the form he's in. He's, he's also walking into that spot. And he's yeah. been on the pod. Yeah. yeah. Eight gets... Number eight, I've gone with Charlie Cowell. Oh, yeah. He's good. Could be a bit of a bolter. Yeah, I like it. Just the way... I think also, being as mobile as he is... It just changes the way the Wallabies will have to play with him there, and I just would like that style. I think it would suit us. He's yeah. playing well in that sort of Pete Samu roll out wide as well in that five metre channel for the Brums. Just, yes, yeah, I like and it. he showed against the Reds. And as Slips pointed out, he wasn't known for the tough stuff, yeah. but he, he was he was big in that game. Swoop the nine. What do you got? Hard to go past Tate McDermott. Yeah, yeah. Talking of well, another naughty corner this week. Yeah, a couple of naughty corners. Swoop likes a naughty corner. Mm. He's a naughty boy. <laughs> uh, any particular reason? Only name that came to mind? No, no I he's mean, the best. yeah, it's tough, right? I think Jakey Gordon's doing a good job, but Tate, you know, you can see the, the potential that he has for the team moving forward over the next 10 years. This bloke will play full. Interesting. Gets the fly half. Halfway. Noah. Lolo I yeah. think. Oh, a lot why don't our... you pick another Brumby? <laughs> pick another one. Sorry, yeah. son. I pick who I like. <laughs> You've gone three, three, three haven't you? Have I? Yeah. Oh, that was, is really? Is that what I did? <laughs> I didn't notice. Um, well, I think a lot of a lot of the tens are all playing some good rugby at the moment. I just like the confidence that Noah's come back with after being at Toulon, um, and also giving given time in the saddle in one position. You see how comfortable he is at Super Rugby level, and then at Test level, it's not the same because he only gets a couple of games to really find his feet. I just I like the way he's playing. They play, beat the Reds their last game, and he was a big part in that. So, Happy with that, guys? Oh, I'm pretty happy. I tell you what, no I'd be pretty happy with that coming from Gitz. I reckon oh, yeah. any 10 would be happy from that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Having Maguito. Number 11, Druza. I'm going to go. Go on, mate. Marika Krumbete. You don't like anyone playing in Australia, <laughs> do you? Well, no. The I just Drew think, Mitchell or? No, I, like I mean, I think Marika's been our best outside back for a number of years. I know he retired after the World Cup, but he's since retracted that. Oh, great. Redact- redacted or attracted. Uh, anyway, he's available again. Uh, and I think he's like he's still got a lot of class. Anyway, I know there's a lot of good young ones coming through. The Tool Shed, Derby, and a number of other guys are coming through. But I think, um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go with Marika at this point. The 12 gets. Well, I was going to stick on the Brums, but <laughs> Swoop's throwing his toys out the cot. So I've gone with, <laughs> I'm going to change. I'm going to go Hunter, Paisami. Mm-hmm. I think um, he's playing 
Well, even though on the weekend there was this this one touch that I saw him off phase play, we played like an old Emmett style swoop, the mm. no look pass out the back and attack the line. There's just areas of his game that I've saw like seen him develop, and I thought he was an out and out thirteen. But then watching, you know, some of the things that he's done recently, I've been pretty impressed with him. So you got that one, Tommy Hunter. Very good. Now out and out thirteen sweep. You were one. Can you pick one for us? Yeah, um, I'm gonna go fluke. One, because I think, obviously, they've got a really good combination or partnership with Hunter. Um, but also, he's, a couple of his reads in defence this year has, has been class. Um, and also, you can find the line. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Gee, Len's hard, don't Yeah, Gee, Len, Nicky Tell might have words to say to you. He's got a real issue with the Brums, hasn't yeah, he? Doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's Even personal. Even though all that bloody Brumby on his chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, sang the know, song. But to yeah. be fair, I haven't seen too much of Nicky Tell's form this year. So, oh, that's you? probably my fault. So yeah. Sorry, Len. Yeah, look, that's, that's on me. <laughs> um, still rates you. He's still great. Um, but was it a bad ending at the Brums for you, mate? What happened there? <laughs> yeah, well, move on, mate. We don't have a no, Okay, yeah. not that one. Uh, what number are we up to? Fourteen. Fourteen. That's, That's you. Me. Swoop again. Um, so there's no two. I'm going to go the the Lancaster bomber. He lands in the fourteen <laughs> position for <laughs> me. <laughs> See what I did there? Love it. Yeah. So uh, witty. So no tool shed at all. Oh, I know. Is he on the bench well, for you, the tool shed. Yeah. Well, oh. the tool shed can fix anything. I might put, put him, him on 12. the bench. Hey? Move him to twelve. We can't have. No, it's just a joke. Yeah, get, get Darbs in there. You know, there's still a 15 there, Drew, where the tool shed could just slide in. Yeah, I know. Uh, but the tool shed's not playing 15. <laughs> Who's playing Who is? Uh, we need a buddy rogue redhead, Andrew Kellaway. Uh, he's uh, on the podcast. Go. Friend of the yeah. pod. Yeah, like yeah, Friend it. of the pod. Yeah. And playing well, though. And not yeah, playing very well. Yeah. yeah. A couple of nice little touches. Yeah. On the week. Tom Wright's been going well. Yeah, Tommy's it's, doing well. Look, the good thing is it's... Not as straight up selection because there's been so many players in form. Yeah. You know, forty one percent of wins against New Zealand teams. Good signs for Australia rugby. That's why they're all getting half, beef eaters. Sorry. What about halfway Wallabies coach if it's not Joe Schmidt? <laughs> so out of the five <laughs> super coaches, and that's on you, Paul. Oh, you go? oh right. that's a good shout. I'm, well, I like. Oh, I was going to go Leslie Kiss just because we met he's him. Been on the show. He's been on the pod. Yeah. Um, we well, can't go do. So. Oh, probably Bernie. Yeah, nice. Would you go, Brumbies? Brumbies? Well, no, I would you know swoop. <laughs> no, I was talking to Brendan McKibben, Mitch Chapman, who worked with the referees, and apparently Bernie's blow up after a trial. Um, yeah, I think no, he gets big, he gets my <laughs> cheese. No good, Burn. Oh, who are you going here then? DC. He's always had it in him too. Kevin he, Bernie? Foot, Simon down. Cron. Ooh, I reckon it'd be very different if he was talking with the referees face to face, Bernie. He'd be good behind, you know, his keyboard and yeah. texty and that. Yeah, <laughs> such a warrior. Yeah. All right, we'll leave it blank. Very yeah. good. That's a good answer. That was a there. shit question, Swoop. Where can I they find us? Of that. <laughs> yeah. Swoop, you want to do this again? You're very good before. Where can people find us on socials? Kickoffs and kick ons. And if you're finding us on YouTube, there's an and in between, right? Very good. What about old mate up in Hong Kong? He goes, comes up, loves the show. He goes, mm. oh, kicks on and kicks off. Yeah. And I was like, yes, kicks on. <laughs> kicks <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, he loved it. Absolutely loved Mr. the Miyagi. show. Still can't find us. Yeah. Still can't. And like and subscribe. Um, and again, get, kick offs and kick ons. Get your merch on the link below. Yeah. Send in your pics of your merch. Yeah. Wearing yeah. your merch. Give us um, some. And any pics. social schnitties. Yeah, yeah. Send yeah. them in. Send them in. Just uh, send us a photo of you getting around of snag on your <laughs> beef eater. <laughs> yeah. We're in the pants high. That's what we yeah. want to see. All right. Hey, thank you very much. That was the Coco Show for another week. All done and dusted. Druza, you know what to do. <laughs> Cuckoo! <laughs> G'day, please, if you like the show, well, show us you liked it by pressing like and subscribe so we can exist because we don't have any more money. We need your support and make sure you check out our other videos.